In this video, we'll be discussing some of the biggest mistakes that students in class 9th and 10th make, which later lead to the jeopardization of their JE preparation. Okay, so it's a great thing that you're preparing in class 9th and 10th for your examination, uh, for your JE examination. It's great, but yeah, there are also things that you should take care of. Otherwise, it can even be a negative in your JE preparation instead of being a positive. Okay, so first of all, please subscribe to the channel and let me know in the comments what is your class, what exams are you currently preparing for, where are you based with school etc so that I know more about you and I can make better videos for you okay so the first negative which I've seen a lot of people do is that they don't study from the right sources okay from right source okay so a lot of people in their class 9 10th waste their time doing a lot of guidebooks for their school examination you know they will solve some very thick mathematics books which is just for class 9th or class 10th they could have used that time for preparing for their JE. They could have studied some 11th, 12th concept, right? But what did they do at that time? They solved some class 9th, 10th guidebook, which is absolutely useless because in board exams, that much is not asked in the first place. And you are just regurgitating the same old stuff. You are just reinventing the wheel, right? So you don't want to do that. You should do things that add to your, uh, add to your knowledge. Something that is incremental, not repeat the same stuff. Revision is a different thing. Revision is required in life, but if you keep on doing the same thing over and over again, it's useless. So study from the right sources. What are the right sources? Right sources could be your class 11, 12 textbooks. Also, also by the way, this is after you are done with your class 9, 10 syllabus. Okay, don't start this before you buy 9th, 11th, first to your 9th, 10th. After that, you know, for example, if you are done with gravitation chapter in class 9th, then study the same chapter from class 11. Something like that can also work out, right? That is a good resources. H.C. Verma class 11, 12th version, uh, the concepts of physics book, that is a good resource. Okay, your coaching material, if it's a good coaching, that is a good resource. Okay, we also have our Acadboost JE Foundation course. By the way, this course it is at a discount. I think it is at a discount till 19th of November. Okay, so do check it out. Don't forget to take this course. It has everything you need for your class 9, 10. It will prepare you for your class 9, 10 boards. It will also prepare you for all the exams like IJSO. And it will also prepare you for your JE examination. This is the best course you can take because I myself spent a lot of time on the wrong resources when I was of your age. Right. Now I realize ki what are the mistakes I made, what are the things that I could have done and what is the correct things that I did. I combined them all into this particular course. It's at a very good discount also right now. It's almost at half the price. So you can take it in the description. 19th of November is the last day to get the discount. Okay. So study from the right sources. The first uh, thing you should do and don't make this mistake of going to the wrong resources or studying the same old stuff again and again. The second mistake is over preparation. Okay, so a lot of people what they do is that they prepare so much in their class 9 10 that they get burnt out. Okay, you don't want to do that. Uh, the human mind has only certain potential. You cannot keep on studying 24 hours or 14 hours every day. You cannot do that. You will get tired after a point, right? So it is very important for you that you keep on giving yourself proper breaks. You don't prepare yourself so much that you get bored in class 11, 12 and then you stop studying. Okay, this sounds silly, but I know a lot of people who are absolutely brilliant in class 9, 10th. They were, you know, national level toppers or state level toppers in very big examinations, but they couldn't even clear the cutoff of J. Can you imagine the difference? This guy was NTAC, you know, topper. He's an NTAC scholar and he's not even clearing the cutoff of J. What happened? This guy has potential, right? But he wasted it because he over prepared in his class 9, 10. So you should study a bit, but you should not overpower yourself too much. Okay, that is also bad. I see a lot of kids who in class 9, 10, they are, you know, clearing this Olympiad, that Olympiad, but in 11, 12, they go fuss. Why? Because they just burnt themselves out too early. So you don't want to do that. Okay. And the third and the most important thing is lack of focus and when I mean when I say lack of focus I do not mean that you are not focused on your studies I know all of you are very brilliant kids you are all focused on your studies okay that's not a problem for you guys what I mean is focus on one single exam what a lot of people do is I myself do did this mistake that they focus on IOQM they will focus on IOQJS they will focus on astronomy olympiad they will focus on NSO IMO they will focus on board exams and they will also focus on J they will have so many preparations going on and NTAC is not, uh, you know, it's cancelled uh, these uh, like in the recent times. So otherwise that would also have been a big option. So if you are focusing on these many things, see, are you seeing this is like a vector. So it is adding up to nothing in the end because you are focused on so many directions. Hard work is a vector quantity. If you focus on too many directions at once, it will cancel out to zero. You have to focus on one big exam. 
So for my case, that big exam was IOQJS. Okay, because that prepared me automatically for this, for this, for this, for this, for this. Okay, it could be JE for you. I would say at this point JE should be the focus. I myself should have focused more on JE. I was not aware of JE actually at that time. I was just aware of IJS. So that's why I prepared for it. But if you prepare for JE, you will automatically prepare for this also, this also, this also, this also, this also. Right? So I would say if you are a brilliant student, like most of you are, you should focus only on JE. That will automatically prepare you for the other examinations. Right? And if you need the right guidance and the right preparation material for JE, then you should definitely check out our JE Foundation course linked in the description. Okay, it has everything that you need for all of these exams, not just this exam. And you will be learning for myself. I have cleared all of these exams in flying colors, right? So I know what I'm talking about. I know what it takes to clear these exams. And based on that, I have researched and created the curriculum for this course. I have even taught some other things myself, right? So take it. You will not regret it. You will absolutely love to learn from someone who has actually achieved all of these things in the past, right? So it's at a very good discount till 19th of November. So 19th is a bit later, but I'm still telling this right now so that if anyone is listening, you can get it before the discount ends and get it at the best pricing possible, right? So I hope you enjoyed this video. I told you three things. First, don't study, uh, that you should study from the right resources. One of the big mistakes is that you study from the wrong places. Second is, second mistake is over preparation. Don't over prepare. And third mistake is lack of focus on one or at max two exams, okay? focus on a few exams. I hope you like this video. If you like, do like and subscribe. I've shared a lot of videos for class 9 test students for all sorts of Olympiads, exams, J, everything. And uh, uh, if you want the course, that is also linked in the description. It's at a discount till 19th of November. Thank you for watching. Good luck. All the best.